Hi, welcome to Peppermint. I've just installed it and I'm going to install Sardi icons, Surfing icons and change it so, um, well, that all icons follow the theme. So this is the look today. I'm gonna change some things as well. You'll see me change little things like Peppermint, proud to use it. So there you go, we can change the icon, but this, this is the actual icon of Peppermint, so leaving it in. Gonna make it a little bit bigger. And background opacity is always fun to have a little bit of background opacity here. But we do tend to see a line in there, but if that's no problem for you, uh, then it's okay. Gonna change later on my wallpaper, maybe do it right now something like this for instance apply so we can see what kind of transparency we have so this is transparent with the menus so I'm not gonna go back and put it on like this and then behavior is all good for me that's it okay close so peppermint Let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to get the Sari icons and the servant icons. Just made all kinds of new icons for Peppermint. And we are going to see if everything works. Some of the icons, I just can't help you. Well, I always can help you, but I mean, not straight out of the box. We need to do something manually to fix those. Surfer icons is another thing we're gonna need. Hard code fixer from Fogalong is something else we're gonna need. So while everything is loaded, we're going to get I accept. Never click this button, guys. Never ever go to the files and get the latest because what he thinks is the latest is often not the latest. So that's done, surfing icons, download zip, save, do automatically, okay, save, do automatically, okay. So it's in here, downloading, and we need this one as well. Then we are prepared for our little project. Yes, everything is here, okay, done. We go to the download and yeah, maybe not a bad idea to do this one first. Why this one first? No, not a good idea. Let's keep that for later. The surfing extract here and the Sardi extract here. Everything extracted. What we need now is a, a new menu, new folder I mean, inside home. Right mouse click, create new folder, and it should be called icons, dot icons. So control H, it should be dot icons, and it should contain, yes, you guessed it, icons. So I'm gonna move this one here, that's the Sardi icons. And then the surfing icons. Whoa, let's clean it up first. So all this stuff is very interesting to check out what's inside. But as for another tutorial, we're just interested in icons. So that's all done. We can get rid of those. We can get rid of that one and that one. So later on, we'll do this one. All right. What do we have? We have here the possibility to change. Oh yeah, I forgot something. So right mouse click. I will put the behavior position commands next to here. That means that it's down here. I don't need to go all the way up. It's just very near to where you start. And then customize look and feel. Icon theme. We're having papyrus dark, which is beautiful by the way. And we're going to take this one, Sardi Monocolora. Apply. Click, click, all gone, all gone. And let's open up. So this is the Sardi icons, all in mono 
version, that's why it's called Sardin Mono. And there are colors, so Colora, this is the thing. This is actually, you can color these things. Anything that's called Colora means that you can run a script, change the blue into black, the white or the whitish a little symbol in the middle to reds and the orange to yellow and there you have your own icon. So that's just in a script you run, it's three colors you define, that's it, run it. Okay, so this is the look. If you're interested in the script, then you go to ericdubois.be. So, some of the icons, that's why this tutorial, some of the icons are not following the colors and that's the goal of the video to to figure it out to see <coughs> what i can do what i think i am i've done everything i can and the video is also there to check if that's true so you see there are colors not changing and we have already a possibility to to let a program work for us so that's a good thing by the way, we people have chosen here to use Nemo, but Nemo, in my eyes, of course, is missing some stuff. You should check these beauties. All right. So what do we get? We get here more buttons. You get here this terminal. I need to have this terminal to just say sudo run this fix thing. And we'll see what we can uh, do if sudo apt install curl if um, the script runs some of the problems some of the issues will have been eliminated let's check out if that's the case because it's not always the case it depends on distro but hp printer and python is fixed so two icons that were not following the colors whatever theme you're choosing nemo uh, numix or papyrus or paper doesn't matter nothing will have um, followed your theme but with this fixer the hard code fixer already two of them have well were changed so two less we need to go to user share applications and here are the guys that are not um, working as they should we should check out why that is and with the text editor we can see that it's pointing to an, an hard-coded image so this needs to go user share pick maps and it needs to go and the png needs to go and then everything will kick in that's the idea now we need to open this as a root that's maybe best thing to do it like this right mouse click open as root there's also another possibility Let's install Sublime Text and Sublime Text can open it and then save it uh, on this protected part because user share application is a protected part on the system. So this one needs to be edited and now we can and we can say here get rid of the path. This is a hard coded image and if we save it like this, uh -huh. oh, it save it like this. Where is it? Here it is. So the icon changed, it's, it is freed again, and it's up here, this one, advert blocker, this one is following now the icons of, of Sardi, rather than uh, the one from, I don't know, from Peppermint, from the standard one. So that's it, well, not, like, not, not even a theme, it's just a pointing to a place. It's just this icon, not a theme. And then oh, let's get it back, save. So that's one down. That's how we should proceed and to check uh, with maybe all 2D, 3D chess is something else. So let's do first a scroll down, maybe this one first. Pulse audio equalizer, what's that? Pulse Audio Equalizer, let's open this one. Again, a hard-coded path, so let's get rid of this path. And also behind there, so it's free to have PNG, SVG, anything. And you see here this icon is changed, so that's okay. 
Now Python don't worry about Python, don't use any energy or time. It's not in your menu, so you don't see it. So whatever, right? Who cares? So um, anything else? I guess these two were the major things. And this is the only thing I can do as a designer to um, make sure that, that the icons are, are good. So user share applications, everything in here is looking super. But that's it for user share applications. But if you go to accessories, all good, games. And here we have the ICE SSB and ICE SSB, ICE SSB, ICE SSB, all the applications created with ICE, and this application here, where you say you can remove stuff. So all these guys here have their own icon and they've been chosen via this application to select an icon and it's a fixed one. So it's a fixed icon. And the only thing we can do is manually say, I want to have an edit application, choose an icon, and then wait for it because it's loading all the icons on your system. And then we need to find something in user share ice. That's where we're going now. So I suggest we go to look for user share. Scroll over it, I guess. Icons, where are you? Just one down. Sardi is not there, Eric. True, true. Control H. It's in the icons Sardi Mono. That sounds refreshing. My son is with me here. Chess. We can't unfortunately look for it, so we need to actually scroll all the way down to chess, 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 SVG. Okay, save. Let's have a look. Uh, games, all right, so one down and so many more to go. The same applies, I think we have Mahjong, every distro has a Mahjong. So let's see if we find an icon here. So user share, one down, we go to the Sarti. Oh my God, um, again, to the icons, Sarti Mono. Scalable apps and then Mahjong is an M, so more or less in the middle. Mahjong, ma, 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 ma. Mahjong. Okay, save. And this is how we should proceed for every icon of, of every element you see that has the words ICE SSB behind it. The same for Pixlr, but I don't think I have an icon for Pixlr. But of course, we have lots of um, uh, icons for drawing and, and, uh, and this kind of design. So there's no problem there. Internet. Um, okay. I wonder if I have a peppermint icon. I suppose I have. I have. Let's see. Oh. So icons, mono, scale. The question is where distributor, lots of distributor guys. I think I have one question is where so we need to look but we have a super tool Eric we have a super tool and this system we have Nemo and Nemo is just fantastic if you want to look for an SVG you do this button and we need peppermint peppermint oh it's just named peppermint hmm. okay so with a P and it's in the apps so Sally Mono, scalable apps with a B. Pe -pe 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 Peppermint. 
Okay, getting there. I um, wonder if we can just type. Of course, we can type. Okay. Save. Boof. Save. Peppermint. Uh, what did we fix? We fixed this one. So we do, should do the same for this one and this one. So you get the drift. How to make it beautiful. Let's see. Edit application. If this is any different. It does not say SBB at the end. As SB I think it was. But uh, it is the same. So we do have a word kind of logo in there somewhere. Home. I can set him on all scalable apps. Just don't know. I think it's MS Word, but out of my head with, I don't know, 10,000 icons. No, there was a guarantee. Why am I not typing MS Word? Okay, save. And we were here already, Office, MS Word, and the settings, advert blocker is nice now. And the system is nice, and the icons are nice. Everything looks good, tweaked, hardware. This one should have been changed, network and system. Because at my system, ah, that's the QPIQ thingy question is where is he keeping that icon that is a Sherlock Holmes thing because we've done user we've done share we've done the applications it should be in here so Q P Q Q Q I don't see any Q so this icon is coming from somewhere The question is, QP, it's all right, all right here in the, looks all right here, it doesn't look all right here. Maybe I need to reboot, that's a possibility, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So maybe it's a peppermint settings panel thing, I don't know, I don't think either, but uh, well, that's the only thing that's strange I need to look into. But anyway, this is the way to change everything. And if you changed everything like that, then there is also another one, which is called Surfen. And Surfen Arc is, for instance, a nice one, which gives a nice. Let's see if this is okay then. Yeah, it's, it's hard coded. So it does point to some kind of icon. Of course, if you replace that icon with my icon, yeah, then you're, it will work as well. So peppermint, nice icon up here, it's nice. And now your system looks like this. In this case, you see, we have this mono thing. So every time you change things, it will stay with the last one you defined in here. So it will never ever change unless you do the manual work again. And that's of course not advisable. Another way to make this um, possible is to, well, you can always edit applications this way and add here as well an, an add launcher to, uh, well, applications online. That's also a possibility. But anyway, so this is Peppermint, completely changed. Well, not completely, of course, just some icons, a nice wallpaper. The whisker menu has been changed a little bit here. And that's it. Enjoy your distro. Cheers.